Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending April 3rd. Nailed it. 2021. We're talking about all the latest anime news. And we will begin with um, news of Tokyo Babylon, the anime series being canceled due to plagiarism. The Ooh. website for Studio Gohan's new adaptation of Clamp's Tokyo Babylon, which came out a while ago, um, the manga did, announced this week Production, the production company has officially canceled the current production of the anime and plans to start fresh with a completely new production. Oof. Yeah, an investigation was held back in November after two of the new character designs appeared to be plagiarized. You can see them there. And according to the committee's statement this week, even more instances of plagiarism were discovered through the investigation. The original two designs that prompted the investigations are those of twins Hokuto and Subaru, which you can see in the side-by-side -side comparisons. Hokuto's outfit, the pink and black one up top, is very similar to one worn in a promotional image from Korean girl group Red Velvet, while Subaru's newly designed robes seem to draw heavily from a Vokes doll or Myoji outfit and pose from 2017 catalogs. Um, wow. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. As stated in the cancellation announcement, the investigation caused the production committee to lose faith in the production, but Clamp and the committee will work to start a new production as quickly as possible. Um, originally, Tokyo Babylon 2021 was slated to be debut this month, but the investigation in the fall delayed production even before this cancellation. Wow. Yeah. Looking at it, it's kind of hard not to see. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And, good, and, and good to be Lord. clear, you know, any character design, you're going to pull inspiration for different things. You're going to say, oh, I like the way that dress falls or whatever, right? Yeah. Now. That's not this. <laughs> no, it, it's one thing to be inspired or one thing to pay homage where it's 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 definitely recognized as, OK, someone's giving me tribute to this thing that I've done. It's a whole other thing going, uh, I'm just going to just, yeah. Yeah. you know, that looks good to me. I'm going to take the same it. pose. I know. It's literally the same. Like, geez, come on. You can at least move an arm or something. Um. The the guy who who. Um, does the webcomic uh, Sinfest? Oh yeah, uh, Tetsuya. It, um, it, uh, I forget his last name. Yeah. He relates a story about he got how he had gotten caught. Really? For plagiarizing a a uh, aircraft, I think. Wow. Uh, from uh, a, a, from a animation series for a comic that he was drawing, and you know he's called into the office and saying, um, uh, you know, you can't do that. You can't do that. So you know, but. That's, you know, that's one of those things where it's just like, you know, to me, with technology such as it is, I would think that at some point you would understand that somebody somewhere is going to figure it out. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Yeah. So many somewhere is going to figure it out. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, just be late. It's okay. <laughs> and maybe you can you know, blame the tight production schedules of anime on this. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Um, but this this does feel blatant. <laughs> oh, it's it's totally. Look at it. I mean, come on. It's it's. Yeah. Yeah. It's just I. It, yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. Um, so yeah, it's just I don't know. Um, <laughs> moving on to happier news. Um, really remarkable thing here, actually. Uh, today's a special well, day for all the Tokusatsu fans out there. April third marks the fiftieth anniversary of the beloved Common Rider franchise. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. And as could be expected, the franchise had a couple of big announcements this week. Uh, first up is the reveal of a web anime adaptation of Futo Detectives, which is the sequel manga to the 11th Heisei Kamen Rider series, <laughs> Kamen Rider Double. Uh, the new anime Futo Pie, I think I'm pronouncing that, will begin in the summer of 2022 and will be the first anime series in the Kamen Rider franchise ever. I cannot believe that. I know, it's, it's hard to believe. Absolutely. Um, the, the, that series aired from 2009-2010, the manga back in 2017, and his Kamen Rider uh, Double's official sequel, uh, and written by the TV series main script writer. A new live-action Shin Kamen Rider film was also announced to be written and directed by Hideaki Anno of Evangelion Ooh. and Shin Godzilla fame. Yeah. The film is currently set to open in March of 2023, so basically in two years. Anno has a quote. No big surprise. Um, quote, five decades ago, almost every grade school boy was enthralled by the life-size hero, Common <laughs> Rider. I was no exception. 
I launched this project out of the desire to give back a little for the great gifts I received from the TV shows five decades ago in the form of a movie five decades later, end quote. He also noted the project began with planning memos six years ago, but the production schedule slipped due to COVID-19, obviously, so the opening is about two years later than originally planned. Uh, Toei also posted a Common Rider 50th anniversary memorial video edited by Otto. Haven't seen that yet, but that should be a trip. Um, finally, a new Common Rider series was announced this week based on Common Rider Black from 87, um, oh. which uh, will uh, be called Common Rider Black Sun, launching in spring of 2022, with an aim of appealing to adult viewers. Oh. Let me ask you this what does that mean? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and then Common Rider strips off his uniform. I don't know. It's just... No, no. <laughs> we need to see that. Don't ruin my childhood. No. I remember watching on stream. Somebody was uh, streaming Common Rider episodes, and I came on stream and before they, they started. People were in chat going, "Please, thank you. Please, please, thank you. Please, please." And um, I thought they were kind of joking and they were being you know kind of rowdy. And then I discovered in this Common Rider episode, um, the the uh, the character like cast spells to do various things, and so like yes. things would, would would show up, and a disembodied voice, whenever he does this, would yell out, "Please, thank you." <laughs> yes. Okay. <That's... laughs> All right. Common Rider, oh my God, that that is that was a thing. That was such a thing. I mean, I saw it when I was a kid. That somehow mm. made it to 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 our broadcast area. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it was all about dirt bikes, suits being heroes and stuff like that. And the the idea that you could have neurosurgery being done in a bunker as you're being shelled <laughs> and dust is falling down and nothing bad will happen to sure. your brain. It's, it's basically like cha like uh, changing the oil in an engine. Yeah, it, you're fine. Yeah, not not a problem. We'll we'll just switch it from this head to this body over here. Not a problem. Yeah. Well, it's the funny thing about Common Rider is it always has been a series with a slightly older, edgier kind of audience um, compared to like the Power Rangers kind of stuff. Right. Um, so um, I'm wondering if they they mean more in the sense that they're to appeal to a you know be a little darker, be a little more serious. Um, Someone might actually die. Right. <laughs> um, um, moving on to um, something more serious news uh, we all know that posting unauthorized uploads of manga pages can get you into legal trouble but as of this week the mm -hmm. Tokyo District Court has ruled that even unauthorized posting of manga text dialogue granted a lot of it is considered copyright infringement Shogaku Khan had requested information from the server provider of a manga spoiler website on a person who posted nearly the entire dialogue text of a oh. manga without authorization. So again, that's the context. The judge ruled that this person's action did constitute copyright infringement on reproduction and public transmission, and that the information on the spoiler site and the individual who uploaded the text should be handed over to Shogaku-kan. The claim was brought to court when a website was flagged for posting both pictures and information from, get this, 63 chapters that had not yet released on Chogaku Khan's Ooh. service. Yeah. Um, staff from that service claimed that these spoiler sites have become a major issue with leaks of unreleased chapters, especially during the pandemic, and they've earned a, and they've earned a substantial amount of advertising revenue from the leaks. So this is a for-profit motive from the leakers. Um, yeah. Now, while Chogaku Khan alleges that the spoiler site hosted images as well as dialogue, this week's ruling was specifically about the posting of the nearly 63 chapters of dialogue. The publisher's lawyer considers the court's ruling a significant milestone in enforcing uh, in the enforcement of manga copyrights, calling it epoch making. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's just. I mean, here, I mean that that would be kind of like. I mean, honestly, it's just basically taking somebody's book, releasing it, and then making profit off of that. Right. And that's and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And that's you know and the. <clears throat> the idea that this lawsuit hasn't happened yet <laughs> i mean that that was that was yeah. my thing i was i was just like going wait a minute this hasn't come up before no nobody's made this lawsuit before well and that's an interesting thing i wonder if you know basically they posted some images but all the text to essentially spoil it and yeah. so they couldn't nail them on posting a few images but by saying 
but the entire plot is here. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, it, it's weird. Are we at all worried about trickle-down effects to, like, you know, posting small bits of dialogue from a manga, that kind of stuff? Right. I, yeah, because you want to see how far this can take it. Because, like, one of the things about fair use, the idea of fair use here in America, mm -hmm. is that the law on the, the, the premise behind it that judges to use is that you have to use whatever the country of origin is using. Mm. So, you know, if you were to do, and this makes it all more interesting in that it's internet. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a uh, little kind, you know, crank in the, in the plan. Mm -hmm. But um, when you do fair use, if you do something to the effect of you use an image or if you use a snippet mm -hmm. of audio or a snippet of whatever to accentuate what you're writing. So if you're writing a review of something, this is yeah. what you use, then that's one thing. Yeah. And that's, that's why they call it fair use because you're not really divulging anything. You're just something using something to, to make your point with, but if you, and, and you can even spoil a, sure. a, 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 a book that hasn't been published yet by, you know, by, you know, putting out what happens in the end and that's fine. You're not going to get sued for, for, you know, you know, taking the entire book and, and, and mm. throwing it out there. But this is where you take, this is intellectual copyright. So this is where you just take an entire thing. I mean, it, to take an entire thing like that and post it, that's that's just, I mean, you're just, is it 10 o'clock yet? No, I can't, okay. <laughs> you're just being a, a jerk, mm. I'll be nice, and, and say you're, you're being a jerk. I mean, you know. I mean, and you're making money on. off it. And, right and that's the worst part mm -hmm. it's like it's not even like a, a revenge thing it's or, or anything like that you're, you're you're literally like oh okay well i'm gonna make money by you know thank you for writing this book for me so i can make money off of it and you mm -hmm. get <clears throat> you you lose that income yeah. because that's really what it what it's all about is is who gets the income from it mm -hmm. fair use is basically one of those things where it's not worrisome about about income um and that's the whole point of fair use but when you start talking about this is what I lose because you're you're yeah. posting this, then that that becomes a big problem. So, yeah. I, I I my hope is that they don't go like draconian on this. Sure. And then and then you know in Japan because I don't I'm not familiar with Japan's version of fair use as opposed to right. ours. Um, it's different. It's, it's different. It's definitely <laughs> yeah. I just hope it's not one of the things where if, if like you know if I'm doing a review of mm -hmm. a manga like drops of god or mm -hmm. you know like if i did that and someone says oh you you used the the text or you know you said you use this picture whatever we're gonna sue you mm -hmm. yeah so like oh, yeah okay and it, it sounds like this that this is not that context it sounds like this is yeah. in the context of you know unreleased material you know being posted online for profit you know, specifically to make profit off the fact that it's unreleased and you're spoiling it and revealing it to the world. So yeah. I, I think that's very different. And Captain Laser Eyes is asking, is reading a plot of a movie that hasn't been released in the U.S. yet on Wikipedia illegal? No. Um, uh, and it, it, a, this is the Japanese law, so it doesn't apply to right. us yet. Um, or anyway. Um, and also, and again, it, it's, um, this is about something that is, um, hasn't been released at all being, being made public as opposed to just not in your region of the world. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not worried. I don't think this is a um, a sign of of problems to come. Um, I think it is one of those things where, again, in this situation, you can see we're like, yeah, they're being jerks. Like, I, yeah. I I can't defend that behavior of yeah taking other yeah. people's material, uploading it online, and putting ads on it. Like, it's just yeah, it doesn't feel right. Um, so yeah, that is a thing. Um, speaking of controversies on the internet. Um, as vaccinations roll out across the country, more events have been looking towards in-person events again. You might have seen some controversy stirred up this week by SAC Anime, which is holding a swap meet event this weekend, April 2nd through 4th, at the Placer Valley Event Center in California's Placer County. Seems fine, right? Well, that center is Placer County's main vaccination site, which listed oh. vaccine appointments for April 1st and 2nd as closed for <sighs> event at venue. End quote. 
The clinic extended its hours Monday through Wednesday this week to compensate for the closure. Now, SAC Anime issued a statement on Monday saying the clinic, the clinic had never been, had plans to be open on those two days and that the center had declined SAC Anime's offer to restrict the swap meet space to still accommodate vaccinations for the dates. A statement on SAC Anime's website reads, quote, Although there's a lot of vitriol posted on social media about our upcoming event, we are not canceling. We are running a safe, socially distant, 25% of capacity, mask-enforced anime convention adapted to be a swap meet, end quote. And they've been working with the, uh, with the venue and the county health department from the very beginning. Sure. SAC Anime canceled both its summer 2020 and winter 2021 events due to the coronavirus. Instead of holding an outdoor swap meet at the same center last September, uh, I'm sorry, instead of holding an outdoor swap meet, so they did that last September. This weekend swap meet was originally going to be in January, but delayed due to a surge of COVID cases and the stay-at-home orders issued to most of California. Now, SAC isn't the only event discussing in-person events this week. As organizers of San Diego Comic-Con International revealed that they plan to host an in-person event over Thanksgiving weekend, November, 20, November 22nd through 28th, which will be called Comic-Con Special Edition, Okay. With attendance capacity, badge costs, and other information to be revealed at a later date, the organizers stated that they hope um, that by fall conditions will permit larger public gatherings. This year's large physical event scheduled for July was canceled earlier this month. It will be a three-day virtual event instead. Um, so, hey. yeah, this is tough. Like, obviously, I don't yeah. know SAC. I don't know anything involved <clears throat> in there. It certainly looks bad. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like one of those things where if you're going to be at a convention center or at, a, at a, an event space that is being used for you know, active vaccinations against a worldwide pandemic and you've been working with them from the beginning and then you publish and say, hey guys, we're going to be here and don't mention any of the context, don't mention any of the, you know, we've been working with them, this is not, a, you know, this was free events time, like we're not getting in the way of vaccinations or anything. That seems unwise. It seems like you would want to mention that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think, it, you know, it's one of those things where I think it was not mentioned purposely. I mean, this, this is my supposition, by the way, oh. folks. This is not me knowing something. Mm -hmm. This is just my my brain coming up with this. Um, my guess is that they purposely probably did not want to mention that because they want people to come. Mm -hmm. Because I think all of us would be reasonable people and go, do I really want to go to a convention center where all these people are getting vaccinated? Because there's all, all these different questions of, will I get the COVID? What if I have COVID? Mm -hmm. And I give it to these people who are trying to get the vaccination or vice versa. And even though it is separated out, certainly sounds like you know, like you know, it's yeah, not like yeah. we're, it's not it's not it's not like it's commingled or anything. <laughs> Hi, you know, hey, get your <laughs> shot and watch anime. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, although you know, hey, um, I mean, if that was a service, I'd do it. <laughs> New country roll service. Um, <laughs> COVID in an anime. COVID nineteen vaccine in an anime. Yeah. But it just seems to me Sells that it, crossover. Sorry, um. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I really so badly wanted to cosplay as one of the cells. Yeah. When I, when I got my first shot. Maybe when I get my second shot. That's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, you would think that actually as the event planners, even if you're doing this, even if you're, you know, I mean, we all want badly to be there. You know, mm -hmm. we want yeah. we all bad, you know, we all badly want to go to the convention, whatever that convention is. But it just seems to me that that somebody should have said, should we really be doing this <laughs> at the same time as people are getting vaccinations in this place? Mm -hmm. Maybe if we kind of did this in just a, in a, a different type of capacity in a hotel that might let us do us, you know, that kind of a thing. And, and, and it sounds like basically um, nothing else was going to be happening at that time. Like they had for some reason blocked off two days and so they could have that space. So it's like no one was going to get vaccinated at the same time anyway. It was just, you know, vaccinations on Thursday 
then right. you know, they all clear out. And Friday, Saturday, you can do the, the convention thing, and then next day, whatever. Um, but it's just kind of weird. And Ginger, I completely agree with you. I, you know, as much as I miss cons, this feels like such an oddly half measure to do a con. I, I kind well, of... you put it much more nicely than I would have. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's like just let's just wait until we can have a con again. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I know Otocon is still, you know, thinking that they're going to have their thing right now. I, or I had, at least the last time I, I checked the website, which was a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, but, you know, again, but again, you know, they're in a position and they're in a place where that's not an issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, anything. And the whole reason why they did, you know, part of the reason why they, they canceled them, you know, last year was because it was actually being used as a facility and right. we all know that it takes time to clean up and all that mm-hmm. all that kind of thing so there is I, you know, it just it, it felt like it, it, here's what it feels like to me it feels like to me like somebody said i, well, I just want i just want i just want to and and you know, please <laughs> yeah. can't we just figure out a way around this and it sounds like you know everyone went around the barn in the most oblique way mm-hmm you accomplish this goal and it's just like you just sit there and you hear this and it's just you know for all we know this is all very innocent sure you know, everybody you, you know no, no way's being nefarious here or yeah. anything like that but still <laughs> it just seems like just like Sorry. wasn't there somebody in that meeting that said right yeah <laughs> guys yeah guys i don't know yeah i don't know yeah, <laughs> no, I, I i love the nefarious as, as one of the the the, the best ways of kind of Fat kicking yourself with imagining, okay, you know, let's imagine that that was actually true. Let's imagine that, you know, they're sitting around saying, how can we interfere with vaccinations? Yes. We'll plan an anime convention at the same time <laughs> they're doing vaccinations. No. <laughs> no. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's strange. I, I, I think it just, it just feels like, you know, like you say, it, it feels like it was just, um, you know, people like really, really wanting to do the thing. Although on the other hand, it might be like we're talking about Otakon, where they're like, we can't afford to keep skipping years. Yeah. And so it might be one of those things where they're like, we, we, we got to do something just so that some cash flows in. Otherwise, we're just dead in the water. Um, yeah. But this feels like not the right thing to do. Not the right choice. Yeah. Well, I also want to, you know, <clears throat> what is a, why a swap meet? I mean that just makes it sounds worse. I mean that's just you know. Yeah. Hey, hey, swapping anime? No. Uh, <coughs> here you go. Exactly. No, hit pandemic. But let's 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 move a lot of things around physically between different people's hands. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's 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 on. Um, let's move on to a happier news story. Um, if I can find it, there we go. Um, whoops. There we go. Um, we have some new information on Momoro Hosoda's next film. This week, Toho began streaming the full trailer for Momoro Hosoda's upcoming film, Belle, subtitled The Dragon and the Freckled Princess, which will officially open mm. in July. The staff also unveiled the character designs of the titular Belle, none, done by none other than Jin Kim of Disney's Frozen, Tangled, Moana, and Ooh, others. That's yeah. why that looks like that. Yeah. Okay. According to, to Hosoda's studio, Chizu, quote, Momoro Hosoda and Jean have long respected each other's work, but met for the first time when Mirai was nominated for an Oscar in Los Angeles. There, mm-hmm. they promised to one day work together on something creatively and finally realized that goal with Belle, end quote. Chizu also announced it collaborated on the film with staff from Irish studio Cartoon Saloon, whom you may know from Song of the Sea and The Secret of Kells. Oh. Yeah. Um, the film portrays the ever-evolving online world of You, which is definitely not Oz from Summer Wars, and follows high school girl Suzu, who rediscovers her love of singing in the virtual world. Um, they say it'll feature themes of, and I quote, coming of age, family ties, love between parents and children, friendship that transcends species, and links between our lives, end quote. So again, On- online, totally not Summer Wars. Um... <laughs> That's that's the thing. So that's an interesting <laughs> sort of international um, uh, staff on this. Kind of exciting. Yeah. Um, and to be clear, like it's it's very Beauty and the Beast. 
like the whole Belle thing. Like there's some strong like this. She has a big like red cloak running through the wood kind of thing. Like it's very Beauty and the Beast. Um, yeah, it's 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 that. Um, there's also kind of a um, Ancient Majesty's Bride feel that too a, a little bit. Huh. Yeah, I saw that picture and I, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I've seen this before. What? what, what, what? Yeah, it's the girl from Tangled. Ah, you know. Yeah. Not, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a really cool. Um, if you get a chance to check out that trailer, it's it's really, uh, it's, it's definitely a Memorial Hosoda film. Like, you will get all the feel. It's also interesting, we were mentioning in the, in the Discord, um, there's a big visual difference between Belle and the other characters. And it's really interesting seeing, like, the contrast between Belle is, like, this very designed... Um, you know, intricate sort of character design thing. And then you have, you know, Japanese high school kids. Um, and so it's, you know, that, that contrast is interesting. It's where they're going with the film. Oh. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Also this week, stories we want to mention. Um, this is, is the 10th anniversary of Kinohiko Ikuhara's Mawaru Penguin Drum anime. The anniversary website for the series announced this week a compilation film of the project titled, and I love this, Recycle of Penguin Drum has been greenlit. <laughs> the project will re-edit all 24 episodes of the original anime and will add new sequences. Ikuhara will direct a new film as well and comment of the staff still often hear from fans and that he's happy that the characters still live in their hearts. I'm sure he is. Along with the compilation film, the 10th anniversary project also includes a crowdfunding campaign uh, only for supporters in Japan, unfortunately. The film will still be made if the goal is not met. The goal is about 90,000 US dollars. Um, as the proceeds from the crowdfunding campaign will be used instead for improving the quality of the new parts of the film, its sound and music, and in promotion and distribution. Uh, backers will, of course, receive unique gifts based on the level of donations to the campaign, ranging from special illustrations, stickers, t shirts, uh, an exclusive online community, and private, a private screening, and even a credit in the film's ending, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I really like this idea that of uh, of saying basically, okay, we're gonna make the movie. Like we've got the people to make the movie. The crowdfunding crowdfunding is gonna plus it. You know, it's gonna make it better. But I, yeah, I I, I remember um, you saying that in, in the in Discord. Um, yeah, that, I mean that's kind of nice where you know <laughs> where people are honest with where the money's going to go, you know, and and you know how you're how you're going to use it as opposed to like going okay if we don't meet it then it's all for nothing, you know. But it's it's really kind of nice that that um, that you, that they're willing to do that. I I, I like I like the idea. Yeah, that too. makes know? sense. Um, this year also marks the 50th anniversary of the Karate Master Martial Arts Manga. Tells the, form of, uh, the story of a former soldier who finds meaning in life after World War II through practicing karate. To celebrate the milestone, an HD remastered version of the 1973 TV anime will broadcast in Japan starting on April 9th. Um, the original version was released on DVD in the U.S. by Disc Attack. So if you want to get a chance, uh, go back and check that, and hopefully we'll get a remaster over here. A website opened this week for a new original anime project from director Masaomi Ando and Studio Lynch a team that previously created the anime of School Live, Astro Lost in Space, Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, and others. The new anime is titled Turnabout World's Battery Girl, and the key image features the phrase Rumble Garandal. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I, don't, I don't even know, know what to say. Don't, 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 say. <laughs> um, Anaplex announced on Sunday that Jun Jizuki's... Say what? Aniplex. Aniplex, thank you. Um, <laughs> announced on Sunday, the uh, steampunk vampire manga, The Case Study of Vanitas, is getting a TV anime adaptation uh, produced by mm. Studio Bones at the premiere this summer. That sounds cool. Uh, the cover for next week's issue of Weekly Shonen Magazine from, by Kodansha was revealed on Amazon this week and lists that Hiroshi Noda and Takehiro Wakamatsu's Love After World Domination manga is getting an anime project. It's a romantic comedy following the relationship between the leader of a hero squadron trying to bring world peace and the leader of a secret organization aiming for world domination. Sounds adorable. Um, Kanekawa announced on Thursday that um, Haruki Kuo's light novel series Liar Liar is getting an anime adaptation. The Academy Cross Mind Game Cross Romantic Comedy is set on Academy Island where, get this, 
Students battle to determine their rankings. Such a novel idea. I know. I know. Can't wait to see where that goes. Um, I, I, I've, I've never heard of this. Yeah, it's 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 just wow. Yeah, blows my mind. Um, <laughs> the YouTube channel for the popular Otome app game Obey Me. I repeat that, an Otome app game named Obey Me, confirmed on Friday. An anime project is in the works, set to release in the summer. The story follows a human protagonist who's likely to become an exchange student at a school for demons, and the, of course, seven hot demon brothers that they meet there. We mentioned an Otome game, again, named Obey Me. The YouTube channel is streaming a four-minute special episode to commemorate the announcement, so you can check that out. The Black Clover... Oh, anime, baby. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the Black Clover anime series aired its final episode this week, but fans still have more to look forward to. Weekly Shonen Jump re- revealed on Monday that an anime film is in the works for the series, with details to be released at a later date. I wonder why they would decide to make a movie of a popular shonen franchise. You know, you know, it's not like anything like that happened before. No, 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 no not at all. There, 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 it's no way that, you know, it'll break any records or no, anything no, like no. that. No. I'm sure they're not hoping no. for it or anything like that. Uh, yeah, no. No. of course. Um, speaking of more stuff from anime, three of the season's anime series announced upcoming special episodes this week. Episode 75 of the Final Attack on Titan series revealed this week. The anime will have an episode 76 titled Sentencing, airing sometime this coming winter um, uh, on NHK and winter 2022 on Funimation. Uh, Cloverworks original Wonder Egg Priority also announced a special edition broadcast uh, happening on June 29th. Uh, This will be a continuation of the anime's final episode from this week and will serve as the story's official ending. And lastly, Heaven's Design Team also received a bonus episode, which began streaming this week on Amazon Prime Video in Japan. In the episode, the design team is asked to come up with five new animal designs and then try to combine them all into one animal, which I can only assume is a duckbill platypus. (laughs) Moving on, anime production company production IG of Ghost in the Shell fame launched a new character project this week titled uh, Ojigen Idol, or Zero Dimensional Idol. The project will be co-produced with Tokyo content producing company Noah and plans to offer a wide range of content, including voice dramas, songs, and live events. Imagine that. The project features three units of male idols who are secretly from the zero dimension and can only come back to life in this world by becoming, guess what, top idols. Uh, Again, don't know where they come up with these ideas. So original. It, it's, I, I, you know, the, the, the well... The well has not gone dry. No, clearly no. not. No. <laughs> and it won't anytime soon, I am sure. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's the news for the week. Thanks for watching. Oh, See you yeah. all next week. Mm.